What's going on? All you folks out there in Podfather land. Uh, I guess a uh, couple of people, my wife was walking along and all of a sudden heard Carolina Reaper. <laughs> she wasn't here at home. Of course, here, you know, I'm just waking up all the time. Carolina Reaper. Uh, uh, <laughs> so, no, I guess she was at work and all of a sudden hears it in the background. What? Hold on, that's my my husband's voice. What's and I guess a couple of people were watching the video uh, leave Kyle and Jessica. Hi, Kyle and Jessica. How are you? Miss you guys. Um, yeah. Now, you know, I think it's Kyle. He spells it. Uh, well, he doesn't spell it weird. Uh, his, his folks, when they gave him some name, I'm sure it's some thing from ancestors and background or yeah and uh so it uh k-i-e-l i believe so i don't know maybe he's pretentious and he pronounces it uh keel or something like that <laughs> i don't know so um let's see my wife's gonna be wondering why i'm making a video this late uh no sweetheart i haven't packed and uh some laundry to do. Um, yeah, and I'm doing a stupid video. <laughs> but I know that, oh, is there a video? Is there a video? Is a video coming? Yes, the video is coming. So, um, too fast to block. I don't know. Oh, you've been blocked. Ah, I guess we're not that fast. Um, they said that uh, if I'm not in pain, uh, there's no thumbs up. Uh, but if uh, he sees a knife come out, uh, and I'm sure it's, you know, my special knife. But, you know, I'm going to change things up a little bit. It says if a knife comes out, it'll be a thumbs up. If I'm in pain, it's a thumbs up. If I'm in pain and there's a, a knife there, oh, he's a, you know, I guess I could just stab myself in the arm or something like that. <laughs> oh, it's a knife and he's in pain. Ah! It's, that's some sick stuff, man. That is some sick, sick stuff. That's like, you know... German tourist black socks with sandals type kind of creepy stuff. Sorry, Kyle, just in case that's a thing you do. <laughs> so, uh, so tonight, wholesome milk is being brought to you by the old mason jar. We're going mason jar tonight. So, um, cheers, folks. That's right, Kyle, match that, baby. <laughs> so, uh, so tonight we have from Wooly Pete's Chocolates, the Moab, mother of all bars, uh, as opposed to the mother of all bombs. Um, veteran owned company, made in Connecticut. And it also has Veterans Crisis Line information up there. That's fantastic. I love, uh, I really do. I love supporting veterans and uh, veteran-owned companies. And um, especially when it brings torture to me. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, half pound chocolate bar, Carolina Reapers, and caramel filling with ground scorpion peppers. The Scoville heat scale is in the danger level. So, now, I guess the challenge that people do is they eat this as quickly as they can, and it's, that's some challenge thing. So, <laughs> we're not gonna be doing that tonight, no. Uh, and again, we're in the uh, test mode here of what I can handle and what I can't. Now. What I am going to do is I still have that world's hottest chocolate bar. And I have, I'm going to have quite a bit of this left as well. I had a request from some people uh, asking my wife if maybe I would be able to uh, visit and bring some goodies. Old uh, Santa Podfather here. 
so I think what we're going to do is some hot chocolate, but, you know, Podfather style. So we may be bringing this and the um, uh, World's Hottest Chocolate Bar there, but, you know, it's a little tiny thing. Uh, won't take much to screw some people up. <laughs> so... Um, been getting lots of comments. Thank you very much. Uh, if you guys um, come to the channel or bringing people to the channel or you're on the Facebook page, uh, that, not the Facebook. I know that, you know, it's old people thing. I guess just being on Facebook now is like an old person thing. I don't know. So everything's got to be Instagram or Snapchat or TikTok or whatever. So uh, it just slow down, kids. Okay, just slow and get off my lawn. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm just lost. I don't know what the heck I was talking about. <laughs> um, so, if you're you're having people come over, if you guys could please hit like, uh, at, you know, please subscribe. Uh, I'd love to get those numbers up. Um, uh, I don't think it's, I don't think it's really, I guess at a certain point they monetize the channel and so then they'll start putting ads on it and uh, you get money from the ads or whatever. I don't think I'm ever going to get that, that big. I know what you're thinking, but you're so big already. Watch, shut your mouth. <laughs> don't you body shame me. Oh, I did that too. Uh, somebody who came into work one night and I, you know, this is me. And so this guy's standing at a counter and uh, he says something uh, about my weight. And I go, oh, you know, I said, you know, I, I saw his face and I just started laughing. I'm like, oh man, I really had you, didn't I? He's like, what? what? <laughs> Oh, it's good just to mess with people. I think I even scared a couple of the um, outside staff that had come in. Uh, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. I sold it. So, uh, for uh, Too Fast to Block. Oh. Oh, look at that sucker. So, this style of knife, for anybody who doesn't know, it's a karambit. Um, and this is a special style it's made by uh crkt um columbia river knife technologies i don't know that's you know oh it looks kind of space age like that but this works on these hinges and so it goes down like that and when it comes out it deploys like that so it's pretty cool um so you know you can fight like you're punching and it's pretty nice. I like these. This is a smaller one. Uh, my buddy Sean had gotten me one. Uh, it's called um, the Provoke. And um, the one that I had was a little bit larger. I decided to get this small one. It uh, doesn't take up quite as much space in my pocket. So, and as you would well know, <laughs> uh, there's uh, quite a bit of space, so we're gonna try opening this thing with uh, the old. Can I? Oh, oh, oh! It's oh, it's magical. You gotta, you gotta see this. Let's see if we can, we can see this magic. That that is pretty nice. Woo! Look at that. These things are pretty sharp, coming straight just from the factory. Folks, that, wow. I thought I was going to tear the heck out of that. Okay, enough of looking at my, my chest. Eyes up here, fellas. <laughs> so, all right, here we go. It looks like a Wonka bar of death. This is a Will, Willy Wonka was like some crazy mad scientist. Like if Ed Curry from Pucker Butt Pepper Company and Willy Wonka got together. I guess he's got a chocolate bar on a um, stupid hot chocolate bar thing. Uh, so we'll have to give that a shot, a little review. So let's open. Let's 
smells like nice chocolate. I can be kind of a chocolate um, snob. Um, there's some chocolates that I I just like. You know, I don't I don't know, like Russell Stover chocolate. That stuff sucks. It sucks. But then you give me something like Hershey chocolate, and I, I really like Hershey chocolate. I know it's just kind of like the fast food version of chocolate, but, um, you know, I certainly have my favorites. Uh, the Seas Candy, they get their chocolate from a place out here called Guitard. Stop it. Stop it. And uh, you can get the chips now in the stores. They've had them out there for a little for a while. And my favorite stuff from Seas Candy is the uh, chocolate cream on the inside with the dark chocolate on the outside. So, um, but yeah, I um, like Rocky Mountain Chocolate Company. They could, them and Pockies could get together and have a whole disgusting business. Bad Pockies. Bad. So, okay. So let's, uh, Open this up here. Oh yeah, that's what I've heard. That would be part of the problem of this challenge. Is that is like cement. Look at it, it's all over me now. But it looks so innocent. Just rub it in your eyes, Frank. Just rub it in your eyes. Oh, look at that, wow. That is something else. So what we're gonna do is I'm going con to consume a uh, square of this. I'm gonna lick my fingers and see what that's like. Oh, yeah, you can. <laughs> oh, that chocolate's hot. That chocolate's got some heat in it. Okay. So, here we go, let's give it a shot. Chocolate's okay. <laughs> it's that, um, Definitely the caramel has a good bit of heat in it. Try some of the chocolate all on its own. <clears throat> yeah, that's, I can see we're consuming a whole bar of this. Could be um, trouble. All right, so. That is some sick chocolate. I mean, caramel. I just got some heat to it. Yeah. That is some serious heat. Now it's not world's hottest chocolate bar hot. Plus you know it's got Reaper in it. So um, I don't know about the scorpion peppers, but those could be <clears throat> creepers as well. I know the, the the Carolina Reaper is a um, a hot one. Hey, um, so on here it has this Veterans Crisis line. I want to put that up. Was um, they um, you know 
They say you got, on average, 22 veterans a day that take their own lives due to um, mental health stuff and, uh, you know, uh, PTSD and depression, anxiety, all these things that they, they come back with. And, uh, you know, I, I thank God that when I was in, um, uh, it was, you know, peacetime. There was nothing going on. And uh, not long after, you know, I was out, all of a sudden, Desert Shield, Desert Storm, all this stuff started coming up and, you know, led into everything that we've had for years, ages now. And, um, you know, thank you so much for all, all of you young guys that went in and uh, did so much. Um, uh, even some of the older guys that, that I know, um, Enrique and um, uh, Patrick, and some of these guys that, you know, they were they were in there and, and, and doing it. So um, thank you so much, um, folks. If you know somebody who's having problems, get them connected with, uh, you know, one of these veterans crisis lines. Um, help them out. Show, you know, do what you can to be patient with them and um, show them that they can reacclimate back into society. And, you know, it's, it's rough. That's, they've gone through some things that we will never, ever in our lives hopefully have to go through. So... Woo. Okay, so that's my that's my little tribute to our um, wonderful men and women in the armed services and the families. Um, speaking of uh, out in the Middle East, it's got some chocolate on it, so I'm wondering if my forehead's going to be <laughs> on fire. So, um, yeah, with some good heat. Uh, I would say, for me, it was about a two or three. I'm very curious to see, you know, non um, chili heads, non chili mafia people. Uh, if um, it is significantly hotter to them, well, that's that's definitely warming in the belly. Um, so, uh, yeah, that would be an interesting challenge. So, uh, I may get another one of these and, um, you know, try a couple at a time and then, you know, maybe try three at once and just get my body acclimated to it. So, because I would love to do the challenge. I'd love to uh, sit here and just scarf that thing down uh, and, you know, completely wreck my jaw muscles because I'm trying to chew through that chalk or that uh, caramel. You know, this reminds me a lot of something you might get in an MRE. <laughs> Here you go. Here's your treat. There you go. Uh, it's like uh, chewing on rubber cement. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, they did not make this. Um... What's going on with my ears? What's, why? I don't... Do you see a lot of hair in them or something like No, I don't see any vines growing out. Um, but uh, yeah, this stuff is chewy. Really, really chewy. Um, not too bad though. I mean, decent, decent enough flavor for a hot thing. I'm just wondering why we can't have super tasty uh, chocolate and caramel or super tasty corn chips or something like that uh, with heat on them. Um, it seems like Inferno Candy Company is really working towards that, although I, I, they really missed the mark with the, the gimios or whatever it is, because uh, that cake was dry and I don't know what was going on with the filling. So this is pretty good. Um, yeah, a little heat, it's, it's hot in there, it's warm. That's a, that's a nice shot of whiskey right there. But um, yeah, nothing, nothing killing me or anything. So, uh, Too Fast and uh, Griff and all the, I don't even know who Too Fast is. Too Fast, when you see this, just let me know who you are because I thought I knew who you were and I guess I don't. Um, so, um, shout out again to Ace Morrow. Uh, he's left comments and everything. He's really helping me through uh, knowing how to manage these, um, these super hot things. And, uh, I, you know, 
super nice guy. And I keep hearing that from everybody that uh, knows of him or has, you know, uh, interact with him. Super, super nice guy. So, Ace, thank you very much. Uh, you know, my wife, love you, don't deserve you. But, you know, spend the rest of my life just trying to make up <laughs> for what you have to put up with me. I uh, love my sons, and uh, as always, my Scottish spirit channel, spiritual, spiritual, uh, my Scottish spirit animal, the Scotch Sonnet. Got you out there, brother, and uh, loved my brother, and my uh, my nephew, and uh, you know what? I got to give a shout out to um, uh, my sister in law. Uh, Karen, my brother's wife, Karen, man, she puts up with a lot of stuff from us too. And God bless her. She just keeps loving us. <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, so you guys take care of each other out there. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to see if I can maybe pull off a couple of videos when I'm in Idaho. Uh, but you know, we'll see. Uh, got a lot of stuff going on. So, all right. You guys take care of each other. Love you. Find stuff to laugh about. Find stuff to laugh about. All right. And uh, if you see Kyle or Keel or whatever, make sure you uh, pronounce his name correctly or something like that. I don't. Or hey, you. How are how are you doing? Hey, man. Good to see you again. <laughs> All right, folks, take care. Bye.